Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with your Witchy Wednesday. Today, I would like to talk about basil, um, a an herb that we use for cooking, but usually don't think of for magical purposes. But before we get into that, let me give a, a, a thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you, Linda and Sophia. If you would like to be a patron on Patreon, hit, hit up the link down below. The proceeds from that go towards starting this Crystal Pagan Church here on YouTube. If you would like to get something tangible for your money, you can shop the eBay store down below. That goes uh, personally towards me and keeping this channel up and running. Keeps the lights on, all that good stuff. Um, if you do not have the finances to uh, support this channel, you can support this channel in other ways. You can hit the subscribe button right there. You can hit that bell notification so you're notified whenever new videos come out. Uh, you can like or dislike th this video. doesn't matter to me at all. Pieces the algorithmic gods of YouTube. All hell, the algorithmic gods of YouTube. You can leave a comment down below telling me uh, uh, about your experience with using basil or anything in general, or just to say hi. And if it is safe for you to do so, you can uh, share this on your social media platforms. So, basil. Really cheap, uh, or I wouldn't say really cheap, but fairly inexpensive, uh, fairly common. Uh, let me get into my little notes here. Uh, for the physical properties, it is part of the mint family. There are um, are several different types of basil, and for the most part, they work the same. Um, one works uh, similar to the other and whatnot. Uh, they just go by different names and whatnot. Uh, but just know that if you get a different type of basil than the normal cooking basil, um, your mileage may vary. So, some things to keep in mind there. Uh, it is, like I already said, uh, very accessible and fairly inexpensive. Um, it is said to be, it is said to have been brought to Greece from, uh, or by Alexander the Great in as early as 350 BCE. There are variations in lore as to what it helps with depending on the area and tradition that you are looking at. So there is no one lore about, um, this is what basil has always been known to be used for, and this is all the things that it prevents, this this and that. Um, depending on the area of the world that you are looking at whenever it comes to basil, the lore behind it and its uses may be different. So some things to keep in mind there. Um, Health-wise, just keep in mind I am not a medical doctor. Uh, but health-wise, it is said to relieve uh, menstruation pains. Uh, it is uh, believed to increase milk production and relieve insect bites and stings. So if you have basil in the leaf form, try sticking a little bit of that on your, on your insect bites, especially with uh, it becoming mosquito season and whatnot. Um, and... Uh, you know, bee season, basically, if you get stung by a bee or whatnot, or wasps, uh, because wasps, wasps are not bees. Uh, let's see, it can also aid in digestion, and it can help with burnout or mental fatigue. It is also said to have antibacterial qualities, so you can use it to clean with by making a tincture and putting it in a spray bottle. As far as metaphysical uses, most commonly, it is it is said to be used in money workings, or said to be beneficial in working with um, with money workings. But it can also be used for banishing, and you can use basil for workings of success, peace, protection, happiness, tranquility, and even love. Uh, to use this in your practice, and I'm going through these points fairly quickly, uh, I don't have a lot of time to make this video, but using this in your practice, it's uh, fairly easy. For one, you can cook with it. I love cooking with basil. I just uh, bought basil uh, just the other day whenever I was out shopping for food, and uh, yeah, still has the the thing on there because we completely ran out but I used to cook with basil all the time and for some reason along the way I just like kind of fell out of using it 
So I, I'm really excited about using basil again in everyday cooking. But I used to use it in like everything I made. Um, but let's see. You can make a floor wash. Um, put a little bit of the, the basil in um, the water that you use to clean your house. And you can, uh, as you're mopping, uh, you can call upon those protective uh, powers, those protective energies that are inherent in basil to help protect and secure your home. If you are in a place of business or if your home is part of your business, you can do the same thing by calling upon the, uh, the prosperity aspects, uh, you know, making the area more prosperous. Especially if you're in a business using that type of floor wash in your uh, at your front door or whatnot would be beneficial because that is where you are drawing people into your doors. So something to keep in mind on that. If you have a potted, potted basil plant, you can keep it near the cash register if you have a business or in a space where you do your family finances if you are using it at home to draw in money. You can also use this if you have a money altar as well. You can use it in a flying ointment to aid uh, in focus during your flying sessions. This is calling upon the ability for it to help with your mental uh, fatigue or burnout. So something to keep in mind if you're making flying ointment, uh, whenever you're mixing that up, add a little tiny pinch of basil in there just to help keep you focused while you're in these flying uh, these flying meditations and whatnot. If you have dried basil, you can put it with a rose quartz to help with healing relationships or to help maintain the love in a relationship that you are currently in. You can sprinkle basil at the boundary of your property or your ritual space to practice protect the ones inside so something useful that you can do around the house something very simple that you can do around the house just take this out with you sprinkle it along the property line or you know even at the four corners of the home if your home only has four corners uh, but at, at all the corners of your house uh, you can do that you don't need to sprinkle like a thick line everywhere we're not you know we're not in supernatural we're not doing a salt line but you can sprinkle it along the uh, property and uh, that can help with keeping your area protected from any malicious intents. So are any of these qualities new to you? I know that uh, the protection aspect was, was kind of a new one to me. Um, I knew about the money one and let's see. The, the love, the relationship one was a little bit new to me, but I can understand that with the way that we associate that with food and love and, and whatnot. So that one wasn't a far jump for me, but the protection aspect and, um, and, and even there is also banishing aspects that it can be used for. So uh, I forgot, to, forgot to mention that, but the banishing and protective aspects were new to me. I did not know that basil had so much of a kick. Um, are you looking forward to trying any of these uh, these methods out with basil? Like I said, you can pick this up at the grocery store. Uh, fairly inexpensive. Uh, cost you a couple dollars for a big container or a, a decent sized container. Uh, if you are Leave a comment down below. If you've done any of these before, leave a comment below with your results. I'd like to hear about that. But that's all that I have for today. Fairly quick video. Not a lot of, uh, a lot of rambling in there. But uh, yeah, until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. And join me tomorrow for our Table Talk Thursday, seeing that we're doing this as a makeup week. Anyway, until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye.